we still got a man fire. Yeah. So what they're telling is, guys, listen, go home. Got to have strength. There's still fires in the city. We still got a man firehouse. And I said to myself, listen, I got two metal plates and eight screws on my left knee. I don't have to listen to anything. I know what I want. You know what? This is what I want. I got to get out of here. So now I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here. All of a sudden, they get announced. 13 engines. Respond down to the World Trade Center. 13 engines. Another town up. Not even affiliated with New York. And they were sent down to the train center. So all of a sudden they go and they say, I go into this chief room. The honors. It's a cheap listing. You know, you're going to get down to the twist. You know what? Come with us. So now I go in. Down there, all of a sudden. As we're driving down with them, we're getting closer and closer and closer to the trees. It was like the lights went out when we go. The closer we got, we started getting a smell. That smell something. As we got closer, it started to come white. Everything was white. The papers that had been flowing through the city from the building, the land and the trees. The trees were covered in the white frost. The cars were covered in the white frost. And now we get over and we get to a command center up on Church Street. So I'm standing there and I go, uh, there's a chief there and I said, Chief, listen, I got there's two guys from the Bronx with me and I got four guys, five guys from the island. You gotta give us something to do. So he goes, listen, Chris, I don't want to get you know, I don't want you to have to strip a rig that's being taken. But you know what? Take the radio, go over to the post office, relieve 54 inch from the line and throw in water on building number seven. Building number seven collapsed at about five, five by the third. What happened was we were hitting pockets of fire. They were hitting pockets of fire from the post office. We were hitting pockets of fire. Now what happens is we go up this. We go into the house. We're getting closer and closer to the hall. Everything is white. It's so surreal. In the hall, they have giant beams going up to the sky. Light up that area. You see, you're all, all the smoke is going up. Let's smoke and get stuff on. I look at the guys. Get into the post office, and it was like time stood still. There was mail in the slots. There was uh, a sandwich half eaten with a cup of coffee on the side, all covered in white dress. It's like most people were in the post office, they were playing it. They dropped everything, and they ran. It's like time froze. And we go over, and all of a sudden we get to the window. I go to 54, I said, listen, we're going to leave your line. Okay, brother. No problem. He gives me the line. And all of a sudden, the young kid goes, hey, Chris, I got it. I got it. I got the line. I said, no, 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 you don't have it. I got it. Goes, no, I got it. So let me tell you something, Richie. Your career is starting. My career is coming to an end. I got it. I'm going to sit back in the Now I go out of the ledge. I'm going to hit the pockets of fire. Back me up. I'm going to hit the pockets of fire. I said, listen, I'm standing in the street, and I go, Chief, what's going on? 